My personal favorite is the Savannah Floral Suite. It's our new take on sculptural metal. It was all hand carved and then worked and processed and 3D scanned and redesigned to really build out the suite. We were conceiving the ideas for the collection. We were thinking about the beach and tropical leaves and a lot of us are working from home right now using our computers more than ever and we're needing like that connection to nature and that tactile of like sand, water, flower petals and uh, so we wanted to bring that to people and bring some fun. We got into lost wax casting, which is a really old way to make jewelry. This tropical flower actually was cut from this piece of wax. And I actually then had to go in with my carving tools and apply hand detail. I set it up in my plaster flask and I cast it from being a piece of wax into metal. What I do is, is actually build the physical samples in a 3D modeling software. It's actually pretty complicated to get it all looking the same when there's different modelers in the same job and touching the same pieces. So it's really important to communicate with each other on what look we're going for. From there, we hand it off to our 2D designers with all of the technical information, like thickness of the piece, if there's any stones in it, any information that would be useful to building it, which they will then take from there. I actually tell my nieces that I make pictures of jewelry on my computer, um, which is actually 100% accurate. <laughs> this is what we refer to as the 2D design process, like we're not building CADs on the computer. We actually have the materials and we can play with it and build things in real life. We get together and Leah shares her inspiration with us and then we all do sketches and bring them back. I take the pictures of the beads and the cool materials that our sourcing team has found and I lay them out on the computer screen as they would be in the finished piece with the chains and the beads and the stones. That's kind of when we flesh out the assortment and what's gonna be in there. We always think about what other materials? Is there any mixed media? How can we accent our stone pieces with you know, something new and unexpected and we found some amazing shells that they look like shell, but they're beads. If you look at it closely, each individual bead has the texture of a shell on it that you can see like the little ripples straight from the ocean. If you've ever been a climber, you've seen paracord. There are some amazing colors and amazing opportunity to get a pattern on pattern feel incorporating a paracord back with this cool variegated nylon cord. We call it proof of concept whenever we prototype in such a way that we can hold the piece, hold it, feel it, and verify that it was what we wanted. Sometimes we just, we know we need to 3D print it as well. And we even need to cast it sometimes so that we can hold it and say, yes, that, that weight feels right. I think this bracelet took eight to nine hours to model. This is the pendant leaf. This is what we use to basically judge the more complex pieces. I make it in wax. Sometimes we cast it in metal so we can get a good judge of the weight. And this way we can see in real time, you know, the next day sometimes how a piece looks. And if there's something that we need to change or something that we need to reconfigure, we are able to do that. That's how it has happened for us so often that we go with our gut and our intuition and it ends up being exactly right for the moment and we feel like this vibe of being on 
a vacation in a really peaceful place surrounded by beauty and nature is what people need now. So now that you've seen this Savannah Suite go from conception, sketch, to being built out into its final piece, we're so excited to add the new pop of color and happiness to your wardrobe. I think y'all are gonna really love summer 2021 as much as we do. Mm -hmm.